morning students today you see the topic salmonella typhi define salmonella so typhoid salmonella is is a caused by the ingestion of food or water contaminated with salmonella typhi the disease is characterized by fever headache abdominal pain anorexis malaise coated tongue hepatomalaria rose water on the skin and extra extra so the typhoid bacilli were first observed by ebrith 1880 morbology so salmonella is a gram negative or rod shaped organism it's a enterobacterium and measured about 1 to 3 micrometer diameter in the 0.5 micrometer diameter structure formation in size so it is actually motile by means of peritrichous flagella structure formation so it is non capsulated and non sporulation bacteria but it may pass as a vimbri cultural characteristics so salmonella typhi grows <coughs> rapidly on simple media so it grows over a range of ph level 6.8 and temperature 15 to 41 degree celsius and optimum 37 degree celsius the colonies are large low convex circular smooth and measured about 2 to 3 micro millimeter in, in diameter structure formation the colonies are more transparent than coliform colonies so it is aerobic and faculty anaerobic organism and next one on mechanical medium and deoxy colloid citrate medium the colorless colonies are produced so due to it's a non lactose fermenting colonies next and wilson and blair smith sulfate medium uh, jet block colonies with a metallic shine are formed due to the production of h2s formation it uh, it differentiated salmonella para typhi a which do not produce the h2s and form a green colony formation so biochemical reaction salmonella typhi ferment glucose mannitol maltose forming acid and gas formation so it does not ferment the lactose or a sucrose and do not produce a indole mr positive bp negative citrate positive and urease negative reaction next one resistant so the typhoid bacilli are killed by the heating at 60 degree celsius for 15 minutes to 20 minutes and also by boiling method a next one method is a chlorination so and the pasteurization techniques the most of the strains are sensitive to chlorophenicol ampicillin tetracycline and extra extra they can also survive in polluted water soil ice and snow for a week and month of months so antigenic structure formation the antigens of salmonella are classified into three types and first one flagella antigen h antigen somatic or cell wall antigen o antigen surface antigen or virulent antigen vi antigen and first one vi antigen sorry h antigen the flagella or h antigen is present on the flagella it is heat label protein and help in agglutination when mixed with the antisera they are agglutinate rapidly and form a loosey fluffy clumps of a, antigen and antibody reaction that means antigen antibody complex so second one o antigen somatic o antigen is a phospholipid protein polysaturated complex it is an uh, integral part of cell wall structure formation so it it was a first was isolated by the bovin scientist hence it is also called as a bovin antigen when mixed with antisera o an antigen form a compact chalky granular clumps formation and third one va antigen some strains of salmonella typhi passes surface k antigen external to cell wall referred to as a va it is heat label and they are not involved in diagnosis but helpful in epidemiological typing of salmonella typhi by employing va bacteria phage pathogenesis so salmonella can follow one of two infection cycles as depicted in figure 
and the one cycle lead to the enteric whereas the other leads to enteric fever i means typhoid and first one enteritis the most salmonella strains causes a enteritis formation the salmonella invade the intestinal well and produce a enterotoxins the those toxins but there is no spread into the blood next one uh, salmonella uh, two salmonella zero types and uh, typhi and the para typhi can cause a typhoid the organism invade the wall of the terminal ileum and then spread into the intestinal lymphocytes where they are phagocyted by the pmns and a macrophages formation so those phagocytized by a macrophages survive and uh, are uh, disseminated via through the cell to other lymphoid tissue formation uh, evenly the organism escape the macrophages and are uh, liberated into the blood where they are disseminated throughout the body so other salmonella remain within the intestines where they are invade the gut wall and may cause the ulceration perforation and a hemorrhage so salmonella are also <coughs> multiple within a gall bladder and bayer batches a short form of pathogenesis of a enteric fever the bacillus on reaching gut attached to the microvilli of some small intestine and a pancreatic ileum and parapra perifera and submucosa membrane so they are phagocytized by the polymorph and the macrophages the bacilli resist the intracellular killing and enter the mesenteric lymphoid nodule so they enter into the blood through the thoracic duct and causes the transient bacteremia reactions so the bacilli are uh, seeded in liver spleen bone marrow gall bladder lymphoid nodules lungs kidney where further multiplication take places so the bacillus form those are liberated into the blood causing massive bacteremia which helps onset of the clinical disease formation and final one the enteric fever typhoid is caused so typhoid ulceration so bacillus seeded into the intestines from your gall bladder infect the bayer patches and lymph nodules which become a inflamed the necrosis slighted of your leaving cardiac six typhoid ulcer so the ulcer lead to intestinal peripheral fraction and a hemorrhagic formation clinical manifestation so the incubation period 7 to 14 days headache malaise anorexis coated tongue abdominal discomfort with the either diarrhea or a conception so steps lead to the bias with a bread cards and a toxemia the bowel fills spell spelling hepatolemia so laboratory diagnosis next one the isolation of bacilli from your patient a demonstration of antibodies in serum the specimen first week blood culture and for the end of first week to second week viral test formation and for the early stage of disease up to convalescence feces culture become a positive reaction so in second and third week of illness the urine culture become a positive reaction and other specimen clot culture bone marrow biopsy and bile from a duodenal aspirates feces culture it is passed in a patient as well as a carriers it is valuable in patient on a antibiotic as the drug does not eliminate the bacillus from the gut rapidly prophylaxis so the enteric fever controlled by the improvements in a sanitation and protected water supply so ta vaccine salmonella typhi spa heat killed at 50 degree celsius to 60 degree celsius and a preserved in 0.5 percent of phenol so give in, in a two doses of 0.5 ml of subcutaneous in intervals of a 4 to 6 week Ty- uh, typhoral live vaccines and stable mutants of a uh, st and saints ty2 le is a enteric coated capsules containing tend over four viable labelized mutant bacillus taken orally one hour before food with uh, water or uh, milk on a day so 1 3 days no antibiotic during the period the typhium via uh, injectable vaccines 
with a purified VA polysaturated antigen of ST strains TY2 given as a single SC or a IM injection, intramuscular injection. So treatment, ambicillin, amoxicillin, fluorocillin and the cocktail muscles have been found useful in treatment of typhoid fever. Thank you.